Okay then, welcome back to Let's Play Oblivion. Good to see you. Have you ever bought a horse from Bongard? <laughs> I'm not much of a rider. I've heard others swear by his animals, though. Anvil is all in an uproar. First the chapel attack, now the prophet ranting about the end of the world. Oh no. Alright, enough of that, enough of that. Um, Goodbye. Goodbye. How can I help? Uh, I've lost my uh, trail of thought. Is it trail of thought or train of thought? I always get it wrong. Anyway, um, Halar Villa here is in Anvil. I'm not in Anvil. They were talking about Anvil. I'm in Coral. Uh, I've just gone to some shops, sold some stuff. I still need to get rid of this staff of telekinesis, but there's nowhere for me to sell it here. That I could find it anyway. But, um,. Pretty sure I did have a check before I finished last time, and I think we can get some work with the Fighters Guild here in Coral. So I think we're going to um, look into that first of all. I know we do have that uh, task to go to Kavach to find this Martin character, which we will do. Um, but we're not getting paid for that. It's kind of a favour for Joffrey and. You know, he's, he's at Kavach. We know where he is. He's safe. So we'll get round to that soon. Um, so yeah, let's ask around in the Fighters Guild and see who we need to talk to. I'm not sure. I'm the Fighters Guild champion. Ooh. Modrin Orain. I don't believe we've met. Uh, no, I don't think we have. Uh, what do you think of Coral? Those Odil boys ought to know better. Leave troubles like that to the town guard. That's what they're paid for. Odil boys say creatures of some sort are attacking their farm. Went off on their own to stop them. Poor fathers worried sick. Huh. That sounds not very interesting. Feel bad for the father, though, I suppose. Any rumours? Reynold Germain has a terrible memory. We've met many times, but when I saw him in Chadenhall, he walked right past me like we were strangers. Ooh, what a burn. Uh, right. Modrin, nice to meet you. I need seeing to... you. Speak with someone else, apparently. Hail. Upstairs, I think. Ooh, this is nice. Nice little office you have up here. Good afternoon. Hi. Greetings. I see you've been keeping yourself busy. This is good. I believe it's time for you to perform some duties for your guild. Yeah, okay, that's that's what I'm here for. Um, yeah, what do you have in mind? We are a brotherhood, a family. What affects one of us affects us all. Fighting, drunkenness, dereliction of duty are not tolerated. I would like you to speak with Modrin Orion. He will assign you any duties that are currently pending. Good luck to you. Uh, right, okay. I thought you were going somewhere with the um, drunken disorderly thing. But no, that's that's it, is it? Just do your job. I'm not entirely sure what it is. Right, let's go speak with Modrin again. A pleasure to see you. Ready for duty? Uh, yeah, I think so. What do you want? I suppose you've come looking for duties, huh? Uh, yeah. What's her face upstairs sent me to you? But I can't... ask you about duties? Looks like it's time for a promotion. Due to your performance, I name you Journeyman of the Fighters Guild. Yay. So now I can have some duties, I see. Duties for you. Fine. I'll speak slowly so you can keep up. 
I want you to contact Maglia. Sorry, you said that a bit quickly. Maglia? He's one of your Fighters Guild brothers, but he's defaulted on a contract. We can't allow that. Makes us all look bad. Okay, um... Tell me more. He didn't finish out a contract in Skindrad. Suppose I shouldn't be surprised. He's raw like you. Go and find out what's wrong with him. Skingrad. Okay, um... Alright, well, uh, I'll get round to it. I might default on this as well. Maglia. Yes, Maglia. Find him. See why he defaulted. I swear, I've scraped things off the bottom of my boots that were smarter than you. You were really friendly, like, two minutes ago. Fine. Um... Yeah, fine, whatever. Don't just stand there. Move. I'm going. Okay, so now we have things to do in Skingrad and Kovach. So what I was going to do was take this stepstone and go straight to Kovach, but now maybe I'll take um, this one, which leads to here. Then this goes somewhere very dangerous. I don't know where it was. I didn't stick around to find out. But from there I can go to Skingrad. Because these two link up. I, I imagine there's probably a ruin in the middle here somewhere. We'll do Skingrad. Do the Fighter's Guild quest there. Then take this stepstone over to Dagny's camp. And then we can walk down to this stepstone. Look at this. This is all working really well, isn't it? Take this stepstone to Kavach. And there we have it. That's, that's easy. So... Shame we don't have a good way to leave Coral. Maybe I'll leave through the north gate and just walk around and see if I can find any stepstones nearby. Something that can send us back to the Imperial City. My map is looking a little bit busy now with all these routes going all over the place, but uh, it's, it's a good thing. Well, okay, uh, no need to stick around. I'll leave by the north gate and and have a have a wander. What's this place? Oh, the Gold Horse Courier. Who are you? Things could always be worse, and probably will be. Oh, you have no idea. I'm Kurz Grobarov. What can I do for you? Um, nothing, apparently. I was just saying hi. Any rumors? You know, Bongond has some fine horses for sale over at the Grey Mare. Too bad he's such a pushy man. Yeah, I've, I've heard. I've heard. Alright, cuz. See you later. Let's get on our way. It's still early, isn't it? Yeah. So, I'm going to circle around and hopefully we'll find something a bit that looks a bit stepstony. That's my plan. Oh, this is the um, apple farm, isn't it? Ah, oh, yeah, remember when we fought the raider here? Flax, does Flax do anything I want to know about? Restore, restore magic, of course it is, I remember... I remember Idris's obsession with flax seeds. I don't know if anyone else watching this will know what I'm talking about. Probably will. Um, Alright, let's not walk the whole way. Ah, oh, more raiders! This apple farm is constantly under attack. Pregnant cow, I know. Wait. Oh. 
This poor farmer is constantly fighting off bandits and raiders and all sorts of things down here. He was pretty tough though from what I remember, so I think he's okay. I'm going to have to waste a healing potion now. What do I have that's a bit rubbish? Um, one of those will do. Apple farm. Uh, not entirely sure why I followed that path, but, you know, you see a path, you just follow it, don't you? Really nice scenery here, though. Um, I, this must, I'm not sure if this is unique landscapes or better cities, uh, 100% there, but it's probably some of my favourite landscaping I've seen in, uh, in Oblivion so far. Not sure, I just like, I like Apple Farm. Alright, from here we're going, well, down here. Let's get up on this hill so I can see my surroundings. Well, that's a view. Anything down there? Anything looking a bit alien down here? No. Who's that? Hello. Hello. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Jolring. I come on behalf of my master, Umbakano. He asked me to deliver this note. I believe oh. it is an invitation to visit him at his manor in the Imperial City. Oh. Oh, that's lucky I just bumped into you then. Uh, what, what does Umbacano want with me? My master is a collector of alien antiquities. It has come to his attention that you recently sold an item that interests him. I believe the note will give you all the details. Um, okay, let's have a look at the note. Be seeing you. Uh, note from invitation from Umbacano. As my servant no doubt has already explained, I am an avid collector of Aeliad antiquities. As such, your recent sale of a rare Aeliad statue piqued my interest. I am most eager to acquire more of these statues for my collection, and will be happy to remunerate you handsomely for your efforts. I would be pleased to welcome you to my home in the Imperial City in order to discuss this matter in more detail, at your earliest convenience. I remain most sincerely Umbacano. Umbacano Manor, Talus Plaza District, Imperial City. Ah, uh, okay. Interesting stuff. Maybe we should stop by, being as we're heading back that way, sort of, aren't we? I mean, like, um, it's a bit of a pain to go into the city, but yeah, maybe we should. Okay. Well, Jolring, I guess, is walking back to the 
Imperial City himself. Maybe I'll follow him. When I first got this game, I was so blown away by um, NPC schedules and, you know, their ability to travel from one city to the to another and that sort of thing. That I did used to find. I used to. Cause there's a few NPCs I think who travel from one city to another. Quite a lot. Who does that? I can't remember. But anyone I found who was just wandering around, I used to just follow NPCs and just watch what they got up to. I used to love it. And yeah, I, th I feel like I might just follow Jolring back to the city. Yeah, okay. I don't get too close to him, that stops him. I'm gonna do that. I'm going to, um, I've got a beer, I'm gonna finish my beer and casually stroll to the Imperial City. Or get bored and run off, but I don't know. Either way, I'll probably cut this out of the video because it's gonna probably take a while. Then saying that, looks, who the hell are all these people? Hi, Ingrid the Sturdy. Good day. Hi. Who? Haven't I? Didn't I bump into her once before? In a completely different place. When I killed that necromancer, was that her? I, it was another person wearing? I can fix whatever you break. To wear my armor. Well, yeah, you can repair <laughs> just on the open road, just to repair all my stuff. Thank you very much. I forgot to do that while I was in town. Bye. Bye. I Hello. wonder where she's Bye. going. I'm really curious. Anvil is all in an uproar. First the chapel attack. Now the prophet ranting about the end of the world. What? Absolutely. Good day. Enough talk. Okay, well, I keep thinking I'm going to um, just get to a point where I'm just strolling along and I'm going to cut this video out. But I can already see this guy. I, this guy's a bandit, isn't he? He's going to accost us. Maybe this journey will be more eventful than I imagine. Hello. Your money or your life. Look, you really... I wish you could intimidate them, that would be fun. No, take it from me if you can. Easily done. Jump on my sword. Oh, just <laughs> stab his, um, his dead body. Jolring, don't get involved. Take cover, you fool. I was just an imp. Good boy.
one of the coolest things about um, Cyrodiil in Oblivion, I think, is uh, White Gold Tower and how you can just see it from everywhere. Um, I don't know, it feels like it's... Uh, I don't know, when, wherever you are, you can always, usually, you're not far out of sight of the Imperial City. And it just kind of anchors its position in your mind and um, just makes it feel so prominent in the game. I, I, don't, I don't know how to describe it, really. I think it's one of the best bits of design in the uh, world building or the terrain building they did in this game. We're not in a rush here, Jolring's gonna walk all the way around. Hey, there's a stepstone here. It's, um, it's broken then. Yes, I'm still following you. Well, I have painstakingly spent the time following Jolring all the way back to the Imperial City. I thoroughly enjoyed the walk. It was, it's not... Oh, he's, he's gone inside. It's nice sometimes to just spend the time to just walk through the scenery and have a look around and listen to the atmosphere of oblivion. It's, it's you know, it's, it's a... What's this about? Nothing, nothing. I'm not speaking to you or looking at you. It's nice to soak in the atmosphere of this game sometimes. Because out in the wilderness, it's pretty good, and um, it's easy to forget that sometimes with the Oblivion's weird, jank and wacky NPCs. What is it, citizen? Speaking of wacky NPCs, I guess this is the manor. It's locked. He locks it behind him. I just spent all the all day. Oh, it's open. <laughs> I guess he unlocked what do you it. Want, hey. Welcome. My master instructed me to show you up immediately. Please follow me. Okay. I don't know what you're looking at, Umog. And you. Ashbourne. Cheek. Look at that. They're f are they following me as well? Those two. Those two give me the creeps. Not bad vibes from this place already. Ah, oh my. The treasure hunter. God. Please have a seat. Uh. Yeah. Sure. That thing's safe, right? Can I help you? No. Hello. Thank you for coming. You may recognize that statue over there on the table. The very one that you recently sold for less than its true worth. No, I hate that. As you may know, I am somewhat of an enthusiast for alien antiquities. In my own modest way, I have amassed a rather considerable collection. I have recently become interested in obtaining the complete set of these ancient statues. I believe that ten still exist. No mere shopkeeper knows their true worth. If you bring them to me when you find them, I will pay you double for each one. 
double what? Uh, that sounds good though. That's kind of right up our alley. Uh, uh, tell me more. I am looking for the complete set of ten for my collection. They were once part of the Temple of the Ancestors in the ancient Aeliot capital. Through my research, I have learned that they were removed from the temple before its sack by men. I believe they were hidden in various Aeliot settlements across Cyrodiil, although I do not know the exact location of any of them. Why, have you already found another statue for me? No. Well then, you have work to do. I will continue to search the archives for any clues to the statue's locations. Okay, um, that sounds good though, that sounds, yeah, like a good arrangement for both of us. It was the Temple of the Ancestors, I've never heard of that. You know it as White Gold Tower, oh. the centre of the ancient Aeliad capital of Nibine. It was brutally sacked thousands of years ago by humans led by Alessia. The Imperial City is built over the ruins of that ancient city. Oh, those, those damn humans. That's what I always say. <laughs> um, well, if that's everything, that was a quick chat. I uh, feel like you could have just put this in the letter you sent to me, but it was, it was nice to visit, I suppose. Any rumours? I have not read the works of Mrs. Otis. I'm told some find her guidebooks useful, though she apparently has strong opinions on some matters. Okay. Bye. Uh, there's the statue over there. Some nice Aeliot weaponry on display, though. Ooh, look at all this stuff. Oh, a key. I wonder what that opens. Hey, that bow's just kind of fallen on the floor. If I was playing, if I was Siltonelia right now, I'd uh, I'd nab that right now. But um, no, Harville's not not the type. He's just made a business arrangement with this mer, and he's. I'm not going to uh, steal from him, although very curious to see what's up in his attic. Also, if you listen to these stairs, apparently they're wood, just painted to look like stone. Yeah. Cheaper than he looks, Umbacano. Right, um, what time is it? Getting latish, so maybe we'll stop off up the uh, the Tiber Septim, have some food, have some sleep, and in the morning we. Um, oh, I can't see my map now. In the morning we will head off for Skingrad and then Kavach. I haven't time for fools. Yeah, well, I haven't time for you. It's not the wittiest with comebacks, Larville. Tiber Septim. Let's see if the rabbits are all still here. Ah, oh, they've all gone, I think. Oh no. How are you? There they okay. are. You? I've been better. There's a new ship moored up in the waterfront district. The Maria Elena. It's a galleon, I think. Why, I never knew. Without question. Heard any news from the other provinces? They say syndicates of wizards have led a boycott of, of imperial, imperial goods, goods in the, the land of the, the Altma. Altma. Yeah. What can I do for you? Hi again, Augusta. I'd like my... Why, yes. I do have a lovely room available room. for a mere 40 gold a night. Are you interested? Yes, have you sorted out the 
The, the ghost problem. I know you didn't believe me, but I'm, I swear that room is haunted. Excellent. The room is on the floor upstairs, at the west end of the hall. I do hope you rest well. Me too. She's just ignoring that about the ghosts. A little food and drink will do you some good. Yes, we'll have, um... Pleasure doing business with you. Like a cheese and ham, like a cheese board, maybe. Cheese and ham and an apple. <laughs> yeah, sure. Tell your friend. Good day. Let's uh, have our food and sit down and chat with this fellow. Well met. Fathis. Good, good dark elf name, Fathis. You don't mind if we sit here, do you? I mean, apple and cheese and ham. Oh, no, I won't eat the ham. That's good for, good for ingredients. Well, just apple and cheese it is, then, I suppose. And we're out of beer. Oh, well. Oh, I can have that wine. Apparently. Splendid. We'll have a bottle of wine with our good friend, Fathis, here. Hello. Fathis Yules. I've got a nice house. I have a little income. Quite comfortable. The time is light on my hands. Well, I'm glad to hear it. What do you think about the Imperial City? It's a beautiful city. I love to walk, talk with everyone, hear the news, share the little stories of the day. Uh, cool. No rumours for me, though, I see. What, Barter, what are, you, what are you selling? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't buy or sell things. Oh, sorry, my mistake. I just saw the... symbol in the corner. That's, um, that's interesting. What's that all about, then? Goodbye. Yeah. Bye. What's that guy doing? He just took something from that barrel. Is he allowed to do that? Well, apparently no one cares. I think he just took some food. It's a bizarre place, the Tiber Sepsim. I hope no one was expecting some exciting Kvatch action from this episode. Oh no, it's going to be one hour of Tiber Septim shenanigans. <laughs> now we'll, we'll set off soon. That thing's going to wake us up. No? Slept soundly. I tell you what I'll do. Uh, yeah. I'm going to leave this staff of telekinesis here. I'll sell it next time we're in the city. Um, yeah, that's fine. And now let's stop off by the horse, do a little bit of alchemy, and get on with our mission. Hmm. Good to see you. Where's the horse? There he is. Um, right, so let's... Bought some clothes when I was in Coral, forgot to mention. Not important though. 
Uh, that's all I want to store. So let's have some ingredients. Oh, I don't want the imical. Now, what can we make a load of? Can I make any magic potions? No. Nope. Health potions, though. Make a bunch of those. And a poison with a pointless burden effect, but why not? Okay. Let's store the rest of that stuff back on the horse. And we are good to go. So which stepstone are we taking again? Uh, the one down on the uh, beachy bit. And we jump once and it's safe. The second one, be prepared, it's a dangerous step. And straight into Skingrad. Okay. that do? Water Hyacinth. Mm, nothing exciting. Sacred Lotus. Oh yeah, damage health. Okay. Good haul. Hey, what's a boat doing there? What is that? Is that the waterfront? Oh, yeah, I guess. I guess a boat can be there. I don't remember there being a boat there, though. That's a... Oh, it doesn't matter right now. Hey, there's an urn route. Missed that before. Right. Save the game. Please don't crash. Good. Right. Where is it? Now we're going somewhere very scary. Let's not stick around. Get my shield ready though at least. Hi again everyone. Um, I'm just dropping by. I, I can't even see what's in there. I just know there's a lot of things. I could maybe get some big area of effect scrolls or something and go in there one day and just clear that room out. Might be worth doing. Uh-oh. Uh Uh-oh. Oh, no, this is happening again. We're being attacked by Daedra. Oh shit in there. It's after me. Is there another gate? I need to get inside the city. Yeah there is. All the way around.
Ventus, distract them. Shit. Okay, I think I lost them. Is this the other gates around here? I was I was sure the game crashed then. Good to see you. What is it, citizen? Uh, that we're being attacked. There's danger at the um the west gate. Someone do something. With all these danger around, I'm starting to worry that um, maybe Martin's not as safe at Kavach as we might have thought. Well, anyway, what are we doing here? I, I still haven't been to the Oru. I need to do that. Uh, Maglia, I'm looking for. So let's um, ask around. Hmm. He's probably running to alert the other Legion soldiers that there's a... Oh, here we go. Look, the... The military is mobilizing. It's all going to be okay. And the game crashed. And I'm back. I had to travel back to Skingrad annoyingly, but um, as you can see, we're in the exact same situation. There's Daedra up front. The... Uh, military is mobilizing in in the city and we're looking for maglia so let's speak with someone Hail. well met i don't have a bounty do i no got 20 fame that's quite good how are you you're new here in Skingrad. Mm, fine. I'll make sure the captain knows we have a stranger in town. And Daedra out the front. Please, keep your weapon sheathed and use your best manners. We're a bit suspicious of strangers here. Don't give us anything to be suspicious about, will you please? All right, drop the attitude. I'm, I'm looking for Fighters Guild, guy called Maglia. No, oh, him. He's been around. Mostly at the West Weald, staring at the bottom of a flag in a veil. Ah. Oh. Fair enough. Be seeing you. Where is the West Weald? Is this it? Yeah. Let's have a word with him then. Hurry up before I change my mind. Bye. What? Ah, oh, this is him. What is it, brother? They send you to find me? I'm afraid so. They say you've defaulted on a contract. Defaulted? I suppose so. I'm not paid enough to do the job. I was supposed to find Brennus Astis' journal. Mm, yeah, and? That was my job. They said it was in Fallen Rock Cave. You ever been in there? Didn't think so. I'm not going back. Not for that kind of money. If you care that much, you go find it. The contract's yours. It's not worth it for what the guild is paying. I've got a family to think about. Um... I'm Maglia. 
<laughs> what the rumours go on. Marg Gromogak runs a fine establishment at the Two Sisters Lodge, and her sister has some quality horses. Oh, thank you. That's so Whatever. not interesting. Uh, so what does my journal think about this? That we should go and sort it out. Maglia tells me his contract was to find Scholar Brennus Astius' journal within Fallen Rock Cave. He doesn't believe he's being paid well enough for the dangerous assignment, so he's chosen not to complete it. He's told me I should complete the contract instead. Now, that's a really annoying place. Well, should we go do that? It means I'd have to leave, walk all the way around, up to there. I had a stepstone right there that could take me straight to Dagny's camp, but... No, we'd better go do it. It's on the way. It's on the way, I suppose. Fallen Rock Cave, then. Let's go. But I, uh, I'd better not leave through this gate. Let's go around. I'm sure the, um, the Legion has taken care of the Daedra by now, but, uh, just in case, we'll go around. these guys off then. Not headed for the front gate anyway. Uh, oh well. We're going this way pretty much. Not much for me. Oh, damn it. There's an oblivion gate there. We should nearly be at this cave. It might be, um, well, it should be right about here. So 
somewhere. They did well up there. Where is it? Up there? Somewhere around here, supposedly. This way somewhere. Ah, this is it. This is it. Okay. Fallen rock clave. I'm here to get... Did I say clave then? I meant cave. I'm here to get a journal or something. Quick in and out. No hassle. Um, swap those over. Grab a torch. Oh, my torch hotkey's not working again today. Don't know why that happens. We will make do with a light spell. Okay, let's go. Ghosts. I wasn't expecting ghosts. It's not going to be spectral warriors in here, are there? Spectral warrior, or is that a zombie? Close, close, go away. Is this a... is this a dead end? Yeah. Okay, this way. There's a chest up by there. Potion of healing, fantastic. Rat trying to kill me and I can't really tell what I'm looking at there. Apologies, cat, cat interruption there. Right, what am I looking at? What am I? Oh, it's a skeleton. Ah, <laughs> that was good. Um... Let's carry on. Where the hell is this journal? And why is it down in this the bottom of this giant cave?
Oh, look at me. I'm just tearing through everything. Oh, my magic. Gold. Out of the way. Oh, I think they're all going to come up here, aren't they? That's fine with me. I still get through? What button, uh, what button grabs on this game? Oh, I'm stuck. Am I meant to be able to get through here? I'm not sure. Let's see if there's another way. Torch, please. Oh, yes. Suddenly working again. Maybe I should just drop down here. Let's have a look at the map. Doesn't really tell me much. I think I should be able to get through here. If I really, really try. Oh, it is a it is a dead end. I'm not meant to get through there. Okay, never mind. How do I am? Um... How do I get down here then? Is there another route that I haven't seen? Follow the uh, follow the undead, then I think. Right there we go. Wasn't expecting challenging monsters. Luckily, they can't fit <laughs> through the cave. Mud Golem's heart. Cool. Okay. Totally have soul trapped those. God damn it.
Let's get Soul Trap ready. Do I have it hotkeyed? Six. Is that Soul Trap? Yeah, okay. The next monster. Oh, there are no more monsters. Brennus Astis's journal. Various studies on the fauna of Cyrodiil. The Cyrodiilic rat appears less aggressive than its counterpart in various other provinces. We know about that. The rats in Morrowind are aggro as hell. Um... The breeding rights of something. Billy's land drag. Spider Deidre. Trolls have a weakness to fire, we know that. What's this about Spider Deidre? Oh, this is this is about the land drag. They're terrifying. I remember when I first found a land drag, and that's I think that's how you pronounce it. I think somewhere in some of the games, someone says this word, and you pronounce it drag. The first time I saw the land one, when it's just like this crab-like thing crawling around, it scared the hell out of me, and they're really tough as well. I hope we uh, never come across one. I should either speak with Maglia or tell Modrin Oren that the contract is now completed. I think um, we did fight through here, so we'll take it straight back to uh, Modrig and complete the contract ourselves. I think that's fair. Okay, nothing else. Nothing else down here. Right, okay, let's get back to the surface. Okay. Why did I do that? Um, so, next up we are heading to Dagny's camp, I suppose, and then over to the Stepstone. Well, we could just go straight that way. Straight this way. Over to the Stepstone, and that'll take us straight to Kovach. So that should be simple enough. I think I'm probably either well over time or running out of time, so I'll um, make my way over to this step zone and I'm going to have to call it a day there, I think. So, uh, well, let's see if we can get there without anything too terrible happening to us on the way. There's Kovac in the distance. Is it me or does it look a little bit... Um, A little bit worse for wear, suddenly. All those trees look a little bit dead up on the top of the uh, the hill, the cliff, whatever it is. I saw someone casting a spell over there then. Uh, he's fine. Whatever, whatever's going on over there, I don't want to get involved really. Alien Ruin here, we've uh, visited a number of times already, so we won't worry about that.
Right, so this is Dagny's camp, which has become a surprise key location in this LP. And we want to kind of go down here. Like that. Somewhere down here there's a step stone. Now the problem with my stepstone map is that I am eyeballing it, so they might not be the precisest of map markers. Do you mind? We're kind of busy. And away! Oh, it's a beautiful game sometimes, isn't it? Stepstone down here somewhere. Oh, is it at this bit of ruin, maybe? Perhaps. Helmet on tonight. Don't, don't know where that. Um, this must be it. Then it must be on this well, and I've uh, marked it a little bit off. This is it, surely. Yeah. Right, okay. I'll um, leave it here for today, I think. And next time we'll go to Kavach, which is it? Can I see smoke or anything? I, I don't know. It's probably fine. We'll go to Kavach and um, break the news to Brother Martin and send him on his way to the Imperial City and wash our hands of the whole affair, I'm sure. Anyway, until then, see you next time. Bye-bye.